ACMI productions are only made possible with your support. Visit patreon.com slash ACMI to learn how you can help. Tonight is June 10th, 2024. My name is Rachel Zenberry. I'm the chair of the board. Uh, if I could ask the other members of the board to please introduce myself, themselves. <laughs> Steve Revelock, good evening. Eugene Benson. Shana Corman Houston. Ken Lau. And we have the Director of Planning and Community Development, Claire Bricker, with us this evening as well. Thank you. So let's move to the first agenda item, which is a review of the meeting minutes from May 20th, 2024. Uh, let's see if there are any additions or corrections, starting with Ken. Uh, no. Shana? No. Jean? None. Steve? Nothing here. And I don't have any either, so is there a motion to approve the meeting minutes as submitted? So moved. Is there a second? Second. We'll take a vote, starting with Steve? Yes. Jean? Yes. Shana? I abstain as I wasn't present. Uh, Ken? I'm going to also abstain because I wasn't here too. And I am a yes. So those meeting minutes uh, have been approved. Uh, that closes agenda item number one. Let's move to agenda item number two, the public hearing related to docket number 3798 for 821 Massachusetts Avenue. And I will turn it over to Claire Ricker. Thank you. Um, this is a, an application um, related to the Atwood House that I know this board has had a lot of interest in in the past. Um, a proposal, um, the, the department received a proposal related to 821 Mass Ave and um, with, I, I believe, the proponent had every intention of presenting this evening. Um, but uh, early, later last week, we got a, a notice from um, the proponent that they wish to uh, uh, postpone the hearing. Um, they had initially um, slated uh, two ground floor units uh, for retail. Um, however, determined that in the lease that exists uh, between the proponent and CDS, there is no retail allowed that close to the CDS building. So they are changing that use from retail to office, and the plans need to reflect that. So that is the reason for the postponement. Um, Gene, uh, Mr. Benson also uh, pointed out this evening that they used a, an older um, EDR application um, as part of their application materials, which um, you know, uh, seem to still meet you know most of the conditions of the EDR application. However, we would like them to go back and um, resubmit the latest EDR application rather than one that they may have had on file um, and used previously. So um, that is a summary of where we are with the Atwood House. Um, I believe they are looking to come in. Sarah, is it Monday? Yeah, they will like to come in on the 17th, so a week from tonight. Um, to make their presentation. Uh, they may have pushed to July 1st, actually. They may have pushed that to July 1st. We can say postpone to a later date. Postpone to a later date. It says July 1st. It says July 1st. July 1st. Okay. It's July 1st. July 1st. Okay. Yes. Great. Um, with that being said, Ken, uh, do you have any uh, questions, comments? Is the intent still going to be mixed use? The intent is still mixed use. That's all I have. Great, Shana? Uh, nothing. Jean? Yes, a couple of things. One, um, I think it would be important to tell them that they need to get in the right application far enough in advance mm. so that can go, you know, in the agenda and in the documentation for the next meeting okay. so it doesn't get in, you know, at the last minute, but that we have enough opportunity to see it because. One of the reasons why we worked with Kelly to update the application was there were parts of the application that didn't really give us what we needed. And so they really do need to do the right application. Um, so I appreciate um, that that's going to happen. So in the notice of this public hearing, the last sentence says the opening of the docket is to allow the board to review and approve the changes to the exterior under section 3.4 environmental design review but that's wrong that was accidentally i think carried over from another um another review sometime in the past so when it goes on the next time i'd suggest that last sentence not be in this because it's 
that's not what this is going to be about. It's going to be a full, you know, special permit, EDR um, review. So um, those were my um, initial comments about that. Great. Thank you, Jean. Steve. Nothing here. Great. So I would suggest that if we take a motion to continue the hearing on July 1st, 2024, that we include within that motion that this will be for a full um, EDR and special permit review in lieu of the uh, stated notice in tonight's agenda, which is related to the exterior only. Gene, would that satisfy? I think that's a your good concerns. Idea. Okay. Yes. Can I just mention one thing? Please. This has this has docket number three seven nine eight, but if you look at the other page of the website where there's the um, the department memo, mm -hmm. it has a different docket number on it. So could we reconcile and figure out which is the right docket number? Absolutely. For this. As far as I know, Jennifer has already made that change. Okay. But I can. Great. I will follow up with her okay. again. That doesn't have to be in the motion. But I just okay. to say it. So I will. I will move as the chair suggested. Great. Is there a second? I'll second that. We'll take a vote. Starting with Steve. Yes. Jean. Yes. Shana. Yes. Ken? Yes. And I'm a yes as well. So we will uh, continue the uh, hearing for docket number 3798 to July 1st, 2024, subject to the submission of a full EDR um, special permit submission. Okay. Uh, so that continues item number two. We will now move to uh, item number three, which is discuss the discussion of 12. 07 to 1211 Mass Ave, and I believe we have uh, Jim Doherty here this evening. If I can invite you to the front of the room so the mics can pick you up. Um, and uh, Claire, could you give us an update, uh, any update you have on discussions you've had together with uh, Jim Doherty or anything else related to this sure. item? So this is, um, the, the board asked um, after our uh, meeting last November, I believe it was, um, that Mr. Doherty returned in six months with an update on um, the project, the hotel project, and um, uh, you know where, where we were in the process of, of that development. Um, I think that is really the purpose of this, this meeting this evening. I would like to add that um, Mr. Doherty was kind enough to uh, give us another uh, letter of support for the Mass Ave Appleton um, project uh, that is currently um, in design and we're about to seek construction funding for um, and the letter of support did pertain to um, the development of a, of a new hotel. Um, and so uh, I think um, you know, this is just a continuance of the conversation that we started last fall and looking forward to the update. Great, thank you. So please. Thank you. Thanks, Claire. Um, so since last meeting, Claire, pretty much uh, outlined, I think, what your expectation was and what my expectation was. Um, so needless to say, um, the last meeting, uh, we touched upon a, a couple of issues. I think we had um, a couple of different views on, on, on the matters. Um, but we sit here today, and we've absorbed that. We took that back. Um, and basically, what we've done is we've gone back to um, professionals we need to uh, have um, involved in this to make it successful. Bankers, brokers, operators, and hotels, operators, and restaurants, etc. So we went back to them, um, told them basically where we were at, and um, at the end of the day, um, I'll kind of walk you through what some of those responses were, if you will. But um, prior to um, more inclusive parallel tracks, if you will, with that, is we also engage back with uh, construction professionals, site professionals, and things like that, um, to really almost look at it like a new campus. You know, what do we have here? Um, just to kind of set the table, I know you have a new uh, member of welcome. Um, you know, one of the things when we initially came in, we had certain parameters that were set by some people who were interested in the hotel, 50 unit uh, minimum had to do with economies of scale, chamber maids, and, and a lot 
lot of other things, purchasing and population. Um, uh, in, in that particular case, of LA as well, I think. But, so um, we didn't get there. Um, and in each of the scenarios I'm going to lay out, we talked to these people about them uh, very preliminarily. The hotel, I will say, before I start, is still on design uh, first of all. So that's where we would like to be. However, um, I think I might have intimated at the last meeting um, that we're not interested in this going long term. If it's going to go long term, it's going to go really long term um, because we have other things we can do with it as well that don't necessarily involve redevelopment. But we had to be positive. And so, like I say, we still want to go with the hotel initially. However, uh, I just cited some of the setbacks. So the three options that we have concluded we're going to investigate is the current proposal, which I just mentioned, is our preferred um, approach. We think it's the best of the town. We think it's uh, good for, for us. Um, and, um, and it was what we proposed at the outset. And we didn't do it willy-nilly back then. Uh, we sit here many years later, um, you know, still thinking it's the best, best concept for the site. Uh, people are still interested, people we spoke to are still interested. Obviously, we all know what interest rates are, construction costs, insurance, and, but you know, it's hitting everything out there, where the economy is going. A uh, couple of other things that came back on that. Mix of rooms, okay? We think we have some ways of doing it. We haven't got in there. I'm going to tell you right now, all this stuff is at a high level, and we're engaging people to, to drill down um, on, on these particular things. But we needed to flush out, identify what, in some cases, we're restricting people above and beyond the other issues we talked about at the last meeting. So uh, the mix of rooms was an issue. I mentioned the 50, uh, 50 unit um, issue. And the other area was larger common area. Um, larger um, to, the, to the extent possible, fitness room, office room, um, kind of congregation areas for people, you know, get out of their rooms. Uh, so, um, but as I say, and I don't want to get away from it, uh, people still think they love the location, they love the whole idea, um, they love the fact that there's a lot of apartments that um, pretty much are on the smaller levels. So when people do come in town to visit people and do different things, there's going to be a need for hotel space. Um, and so, and so we like that. Um, on the restaurant side, people a little pushback on, uh, I think it was 3,200 about square feet we have for the restaurant. Um, pushback on that size-wise, again, to, to, to get something that you asked about the last time we, uh, we brought up when we first proposed it. We want a high end. Um, for this meeting, uh, I was with someone in, and I was just complaining. Uh, we didn't really have that many great restaurants like we used to for uh, Lidio's and a lot of other things. Yeah, so hopefully uh, I won't have that problem sometime in the future. And, and not that we don't have a lot of great restaurants, but I'm just saying uh, I think that segment of the market is could use some help. Uh, second uh, issue, I'll tell you right now, we get people calling every day. I've had other people, by the way, uh, approach me for the, for a couple of other uses in the last six months. Um, we didn't we didn't um, do those. One was uh, a Dover Amendment issue, and another one was one of uh, very unique type shops that are looking for areas. Uh, one of them. Um, but we didn't do some of those. Um, so the second um, option, very viable. Um, a lot of interest, and quite frankly, um, if we don't move forward with the hotel, that's probably where we're going to land. Um, and that's residential mixed use. I haven't decided if it would be rental or if it would be ownership. Um, would not involve a restaurant um, in there. It would be some type of um, office or retail type use. Um, you know, those are those are tough uses in our so. Say otherwise, particularly, you know, uh, things going on up there. Um, and the third one is standalone uses. Um, the two individual parcels, the two uh, very differently zoned parcels, um, and potentially, um, you know, one has 
the 1207, which is the property uh, performing down, that is subject to a deed restriction of mixed use, where the other property is not, uh, which is basically 66% of the land area combined with the two houses. When combined with the two houses. So those are the three um, issues we are, where we're going and whether it takes us six months uh, to get there, we're hoping for, and I'm kind of jumping ahead, but we're hoping to have um, more give and take with, um, with ideas um, and discussions with Claire, uh, with the rest of her team. Um, ideally, uh, request, not, not, not trying to set the process. Um, things, you know, kind of um, learning as you go along. It might be nice if we could get some type of subcommittee involved in that too, uh, so we get a little input from from uh, board members as as we progress through this, and you know we don't get a long way down the tracks. Um, if there were some ideas that just just not worth pursuing, or ones that uh, people may prefer more focus on, uh, so that type of feedback would be good. And I think again that type of involvement uh, I have found over the years on various member of boards uh, can be done. Uh, um, and as I alluded to a moment ago, return in December uh, with something actually ready to move forward. Uh, but as I just mentioned, our preference is not to um, hopefully get to December. And I think that's why I'm trying to focus on getting a mix of people on that, on that group we can interact with that um, may help us focus quicker and maybe uh, you know, get, get to something we can talk about uh, before leaving another six months. I know that was a concern of some members of the board before, uh, so we're trying to be sensitive uh, to that as well. Okay. We discussed before the paying for property, uh, carrying the property. So. Great. Thank you so for the update. Right. All right. Thank you. Um, I'll uh, appreciate the update. Sure. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. Um, I'll start with Steve for any uh, any questions you might have, and then we can turn to any discussion. Me. Come back to you. Okay, Gene. <clears throat> I, I have some comments about some other things, but my only question is you talked about some concern about the restaurant of 3,200 square feet. Is that because the concern was it was too large or too small? Wasn't my concern. These were our right, but I just feedback. wondered whether the feedback too, was too large or too no, small. too small. Too small. Too small. Okay. Particularly how a lot of them want to have the open air kitchens now. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that was the feedback that we got. That's my only question. Great, thank you, Shana. Um, so, so thank you. I really appreciate the update, and uh, please bear with me because I was not here the last time around, so if I'm asking some questions that uh, that you've already answered multiple no times, worries. please bear with me. Um, so so you talked about, for the, the first plan, you talked about, um, you referred to sort of we a few times, and, and um, who, not, not naming names, but who sort of are you talking with? Are you talking with particular uh, hotel investors or particular groups or is this we too small for chains yep more regional yep some are very regional in terms of you know um, two or three type um, operations that they currently have mm -hmm. yep. not looking to sell the property mm -hmm. so it probably be operated mm -hmm. we uh, right from the get-go we've discussed really a land lease being the ideal situation yep Okay, uh, and had you or have they considered sort of a hybrid of two and of uh, one and two, where where you get sometimes uh, you'll see in hotels, uh, uh, you know, hotel rooms, but also condos in the hotels or apartments in the hotel facility. Is that something they've thought about or? That, you uh, see it in Somerville sometimes. Yeah, um, that, it, so just to clarify, yep. so one of the options of that mix that I described yep. actually involves three uses. Yep. It would be the top floor. Yep. 
would be residential. Yep. Probably condo ownership. Main two floors of hotel rooms, which is the second and third floor. Yep. Hotel rooms. Mm -hmm. And first floor restaurant in larger lot. Yep. Okay. Um, but yes, that helps the economics of these type things tremendously. Sure. So you can evolve some of that. I saw, um, I think it was in the minutes from, from the last time you were in, that, that there were some, uh, you, had, you had commented that the FAR had changed. And, right. and um, are you, uh, were you suggesting or are you suggesting now that it would just be sort of easier to step away and come back um, with a new plan or are you really trying to stick with, with what has been approved and, and move forward with that ideally? So I would defer to the board as well as my attorney. Um, but I know a, a little about this stuff to be dangerous. Uh, so I know they have a minor engineering change. Sure. And then it goes beyond that. Sure. And I think at that point it becomes a new hearing. Mm -hmm. But I'm not sure. And, and you know, we yep. can just leave that, that, you know, People both sides can investigate over there. Yep. But just to give you an idea um, for the hotel. Yeah. Okay. So um, to achieve some of the feedback that we got from people, we've gotten some of these things somewhat. So you yep. know, we're not just coming back here because someone told us this. So we looked at it and said, well, what can we do less than having to go through that whole process? So one thing we kept in mind is all the issues we ran through on the first permitting of them, uh, ended up cutting the uh, fourth floor, mm -hmm. fourth floor. It, it, that zoning on, on one possible six, six floors or so. Yeah. Uh, so the building itself, as it's laid out, is about, um, you know, three and a half, a little less than three and a half stories. So we said, okay, um, does it make sense, you know, right, so you got a lot of issues to look at. And, Decide, you know, what what is the most tenable for all bodies, right? Yep. You need something economical, and you know, is that work sure. So, what we've come up with is potentially everything visually from the back and uh, diagonally from the side, if you will, on Clark Street side. Basically, the building would just come out from the front, and probably only three stories, possibly out of the fourth floor, but again, in front of the existing versus elongated, running parallel, and that's it. Yeah. So we've looked at that. Yep. It would still retain the driveway in the front. Yep. It would allow the area to be picked up for the service, the restaurant. Mm -hmm. It would allow the area to be picked up to service um, the needs of the hotel lobby request. Yep. And um, both the second floor right now, they have mirror images, 20, 21 um, units, I think, buddy, or 22, maybe something. And um, basically, it would allow us on that front pod to reconfigure that so those would be um, larger units. So you get the mix that people are looking for. Yep. So, so if I'm following, the feedback you're getting is smaller building, fewer fewer hotel rooms, larger rooms, more more lobby, more restaurant space? Is that um, I just want to agree with in everything, a nutshell? but I just want to make a larger building. Larger building. In other words, so the, the building as permitted would mm -hmm. stay how it is. Yeah. And I think it's about 20 feet from there to um, the end of my property line at the front. Yeah. So that would come out straight, yep. basically on the second and third floor, the first floor, it would be like an overhang of the second and third floor because the first floor of the driveway goes in. I appreciate you don't have a visual of this, but it would almost be like a wing on each end. Sure. And the driveway goes in the middle. Yeah, okay. Like the so it, it, there's no doubt it's additional area. Yeah. My point is it's not going higher. It's not adding. Um, any, anything on the fourth floor in the building is not going closer. Yeah. Okay. So the, the 
polling space where it's common to sort of pass out. Okay, great. Um, and I'm just saying that's not, I just want to let you know that's just a proposal. We haven't 100% yep. vetted it, but I just want to give you as much as I can give you that, you know, we have kind of looked to solve some of these issues that people raised. Sure. So that's yep. why we're feeling good. If we get some conversations going in some direction, we can start moving with some of these things possibly. Yeah, yeah, sure. I appreciate. I, I appreciate that. Um, yep. Appreciate the qualifier. Um, and and I guess the the one other question I have at this time is um, is uh, you know it's been a few years now the uh, financial situation that we all find ourselves in is a, a little more challenging. Are you? How are you feeling about? Uh, Caring. How are how are you feeling about the financial feasibility overall? I, I imagine you're carrying costs to become carrying costs somewhat we, 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 some. that, you know, we, That's a non-issue. Um, you know, it's really finding uh, investors, i.e., bankers. Yeah. God is exactly the most aggressive people in the world, except if everything's going in their direction. Um, but. Um, yeah, I mean, it's hit everyone. It's, let's, yeah. let's be for real. Um, I will say this. Um, I feel that there's a great opportunity here to potentially work with mass development. Mm -hmm. We're looking to tell them that's what we, you know, we're trying to do the road, the letters and all that. This is what they do. Sure. I mean, that's, that's what they're about trying to help something with the town of Arlington initiated this to begin for was to be an economic development uh, opportunity for poor people. Uh, it's common knowledge and, and I'm not crying about it whatsoever. Um, but the fact is I paid twice as much as the value of the building probably um, because we were going to do an economic development package. That's mm -hmm. what it is. I'm happy with the sale. I'm not going to complain. I'm just saying I would love to see that type of involvement. You know, I see the tourism. I try to keep up on the, on the uh, 250 and things like that. And I think it was at one of these meetings. I thought we'd be opening the doors, and I said, "What would be even better?" When we talk about everything, I went to school here, so when you go to school here, you know about Jason Russell. You know where the first battle was. You know all those things before you're in the second grade and things like that. And so I'm, uh, I'm, I'm slightly over 50. <laughs> uh, and so I will just say that I think, um, you know, I think this could be a real linchpin to help, help, help move that along. And that was a whole, um, you know, driving force initially why this was proposed. Okay, great. Um, Pre-COVID. Yes, <laughs> understood. Uh, I'm, I'm interested to hear how, uh, if you do uh, pursue mass development, that's a, that's a very interesting thought, a very interesting approach. I'm, I'm curious to hear about that. Thank you. So, I have nothing further. Great, thank you, Shana. Ken. Um, Jim, as I'm hearing what you're saying today, I think you're, this is my opinion, okay? You're moving away from a, a permanent extension, um, how you've been describing this, what you've been looking at, okay? Um, you, you're looking at uh, program changes because you're adding uh, common space. Uh, you're thinking about enlarging uh, the program as far as restaurants or and adding other things like uh, condos and moving the building up forward toward Mass Ave. That's no longer, we need to find a hotel uh, vendor and we need, we need to extend the permit because we're not, we're not ready to uh, develop it. The way I'm hearing now, and if I'm hearing it wrong, then I'll, I'll retract what I'm saying, but I'm hearing what you're saying right now is you're moving toward modifying this thing now, which is fine. I'm not saying it's wrong, yeah. no, I get it. but you're heading toward a new permit. I, I just want to clarify. And that's why I just want to say, that's what my feelings. That's why I want to ask you I'm, I'm glad what, you know, what I, my feelings are right now, okay? I, I love exchange of conversations and 
try not, you know, none of us are here to, to hurt people's feelings, but I deal through life not with rose colored glasses. I'm a realist. Um, so I appreciate the frankness, and, 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 I, and I sincerely, sincerely do. And I hope we can all feel that way. I want to be clear, okay? Um, we just had a discussion a moment ago, and I was one that brought up about a minor engineering change versus a non minor engineering change. So I'm aware of the issue. I'm telling you, I could come back tonight and say, yep, we're talking to brokers, we're talking to bankers, uh, we're still talking to the hotel people, and everybody's still saying, you know, rah, rah, re, I'd sign this on the dotted line tomorrow and build this just how it is. Uh, no one stepped up with that offer yet. Um, I would like, uh, for all the reasons and probably more that you and I would agree with, I really don't want to open the whole thing up. But I also felt obligated to come here tonight and explain to you all um, that this is real feedback. Because last time I was here, I think the conversation was it was too, too high level. You know, bring it down. And so I'm trying to bring it down. I'm trying to relay without uh, breaching any fiduciary responsibilities or discussion I have with people. Um, you know, just to give you some feedback. I may call you back in a week and say, hey, I found somebody. But I want to let you know, well, we haven't found the person. I'm not just sitting, you know, the person in this town years ago, Pop Wanna guy said when we were little kids, you gotta keep the legs moving. So, you know, that's that's what I'm trying to do. I'm exploring other options, as I said from the outset, and I probably didn't clarify it enough, but I will now, and I and I appreciate you asking it, is we still want to do the permanent hotel if it can be done up a Medway, so as long as it's economically viable. The people that we did have uh, that have still hung in conversations with us explain these are uh, things that would get them closer to Yale. That's all I'm saying. So I do appreciate that question. I'm abundantly aware of the ramifications of uh, going for a new permanent and opening it up. But, you know, I'm going to be dead honest with you. This is not something, if in two years, whatever goes here is going to be here for a long time. Um, and I want to make sure that it's, you know, um, the right thing. And I want, you know, you people, as you did the first time around, to be comfortable with what's going to be done there. So I, I, I do appreciate that. Um, Just trying to be out front and honest with you right now. I think you've been very helpful, and I appreciate it. Yeah. 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 No, I, I, I take no one bridge, though. Yeah, as, you, as, as, you know as well, last oh, direct project, I'm very supportive of the project. I've always, I know you have. I've yep. always uh, liked the hotel there and everything else there. And yep. Having a nice, fancy restaurant yep. is a plus. Yeah. Okay. I, uh, yeah, just somehow, I don't know how to make this work, that's all. Well, as as and I guess that's why I'm saying to you, it may not, and I'm not going, anybody that knows me, I think even some of uh, people that weren't in favor of the hotel, going back to the FinCom room in the first hearing, somebody stood up, and they broke in town or whatever, and they said, you know, I'm not, I'm not in favor of this, but I just want to say, he builds quality stuff, and, you know, that's, that's kind of what I'm about. Um, and that's what I want to do. I'm not going to just do an inferior project to get something done. I'm, gonna, I'm the guy, I hate to keep saying it, but I'm the guy that's going to eat tens of thousands of dollars uh, for the previous plan for me, you know. You know yep. so, but I appreciate it because I know when you raise an issue like that, you're raising it for my edification, and that's what I truly appreciate about the time. Thank you. Um, I, I think one of the things that we can do, and I, I was just trying to take a, a look here um, to make sure that we can give you some specific guidance on what the range, to Kim's point, of modifications might be, which the board, um, and quite frankly, town council, <laughs> would feel fall under the um, the range of acceptable modifications to the special permit if that is something that you feel would be helpful to you to understand. I think that that is something that we can certainly talk about um, 
whether it's this evening, um, if if some of the board members have specific feelings on that, I as I said, I think I would like to go through and just make sure that we have a before we officially you know give you yep. our take on that. Um, if that's something that would be helpful, I'd, I'd like to commit that we can return that to you. Sure, that'd be tremendously helpful. Okay, great. Um, Steve, I do want to get back to you yes. since you. Uh, yeah. yes. Sorry, I had one more thing. Sure. Oh. Sure. I'm sorry, Ken. Go ahead. That's all right. Um, what is the permit run out that we that you have right now? It was we extended it for two December, years. December. Uh, yeah, so once a two year end. Two years from the, so December 25. Two year extension. So you have till a week. Uh, December 25. To Christmas from now. Correct. Okay. On the extension we gave you. Correct. Okay. I, just, I don't want to understand. But I don't want to do. I don't want to. I, do that. I realize I mean, that. You but don't I, want to wait that long. No, I just want to know what the. <laughs> no, no, uh, exactly. What that is, you know. No. Okay. The issue you touch upon is the six hundred pound grill. Okay. There's no doubt about. Okay. Done. Interesting. Okay. Thank you, uh, Steve. Um, so two questions. The could you you mentioned um, getting some feedback on the room sizes. Yep. Could you elaborate on that a little bit? Yeah, more so family type type rooms. Um, um, you know, similar to any extended stay type room. So you basically might have two beds in there, a little kitchen type thing, something mm -hmm. like that. Um, it's what people want today, and you know, a lot of people post COVID, everybody's out, wants to go somewhere, but everyone can't afford to pay five hundred dollars for four rooms. Or, mm -hmm. So okay, that's really what they're looking for. Yeah, and you mentioned um, uh, some sort of an engineering change. Could you elaborate on that? So again, I think, and I could be using the wrong terms, but what I've heard over the years, sitting in, listening to different things, if a proposal is done as a certain criteria, and I think Rachel was alluding to that, that you either it's customary, it's by law, well, I don't know how it comes about, what is okay for you, rather than going back and doing a complete hearing from ground zero forward, you can say, okay, yeah, that really does. So I don't want to confuse the matter more because I feel I've thoroughly confused it right now. Are they using the wrong terms? But it sounds like Rachel knows exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, I, I, I thought you were going to say something like, well, we need to revise something with the stormwater management or you know, the slope of the garage or something along those lines. But it's, it's yeah. actually more of the, the configuration of the building itself. But, yeah, question. Okay. Okay. By adding space, does that, what does that trigger? Mm -hmm. Other questions, Steve? That's it. Uh, Gene, did you have? <coughs> I can tell you have something to add. <laughs> well, I said I said I did, but it wasn't related to a question. Okay. One is. Um, and, and if there are no further questions, I, I think we could start a discussion, and m more questions may come out of that. Yeah, I guess. I guess sure. two things. One is clearly, if you go from a hotel to mixed-use residential you're going to need a new permit. Right. Clear, to me, anyhow. Clearly, if you decide to put residents on the top floor and hotel below, We're adding a use. Yeah. probably need a new permit. On the other hand, I think there's this little bit of fuzzy area where if you're just increasing the size of the restaurant a little bit or adding a little square footage, we may have the ability to amend the permit, but I think that's sort of, you know, something that we'll need to figure out if you come to us sure. with one of those things. Um, I'm not in favor of having a subcommittee with one or more members of this board. I would much prefer to, for you to come back, you know, on a more regular basis if you need feedback from us. Because if you put one of us on your subcommittee, the other four of us may say, what are you talking about? We would never agree to that. So I think rather than having one or more of us on a subcommittee, my preference, and people may disagree with me, is if there are decision points where you want to get input from this board, just ask to come back. That would be my preference, at least on that part. Of it. Yeah, Gina, I, I'm going to agree with you on that. And I'm interested in what the other board members would like to hear, too. Again, this is pre potentially reopening the special permit. And again, um, I think we welcome, I, I would welcome, um, and I'd rather have 
a, a discussion when there is um, a way to move forward. I, I will say that I appreciate that part of the intent was to work with the Department of Planning and Community Development closely, and I think that that is a wonderful precursor to coming back and, and having a discussion with the with the board. I think all of the experts that are um, uh, resident within the, the department can certainly be a, a wonderful asset and I'm, and I'm sure are just as eager as the, the board is to support um, this project, which would be a wonderful economic development feature of the Heights. So, uh, but I, I, again, with, with Jean, I think when we have typically identified a member of the board to work with um, an applicant, it's typically one member at, at, at most two, again, because of open meeting law requirements. And, it, and it's um, typically when there is a specific, whether it's an architectural issue, a an, you know sustainability issue to, to explore options before, again, bringing that, that back to the, the board. But when we are in such a um, potentially, um, we're, we're in a space where there could be a, a, a need for some substantial feedback beyond, again, working through an, a nuance item. I, I would agree with Jean that um, I would prefer that it come back to the board after, again, you've continue to work together with the planning department. I'll see if any of the other board members feel differently than Jean or, or myself. Okay. You're in agreement? I'm okay with that. Okay. I think we really need, not Jim, you Jim, but us, these actually find out from town council what is the extent of... Yes, I agree. We need uh, we need to get back I, to Jim I, with the I'm parameters. Just, I just don't know. Yep. I don't know either. Yeah, we just we need to do the research. That wasn't a question we were prepared to answer this evening, so no, we will we will get that, that we will absolutely get back to you on that. Yeah, no problem. Yep. And mine was only a suggestion, so it's not like no yep. you know, Yep. Nope. I have I have nothing else. Great. Um, so uh, I I appreciate the um, the next steps. Does anyone else have have any other feedback um, because I think what I'd like to do is just identify next next steps sure. for everyone. Um, Claire, did you have anything on behalf of the department? Nothing on the behalf of the department other than we're, you know, as usual, willing, more than, well, ready and willing, you know, to work with you on whatever you have. And I will certainly ask, um, uh, get in contact with town council about what the parameters are for the permitting. Um, you know, at, at what point are we looking at a new permit versus just a permit modification? That'd be great. I appreciate sure. it. Sure. Great. So, um, you know, it certainly makes makes sense to me that, again, the um, whether it's purely through using the existing footprint or through, again, having to look through um, an expansion of one or more of the floors that the um, square footage is identified for the lobby and or the restaurant might want to, to shift. I think, you know, again, that that makes all the sense in the world given the amount of time that has passed since this first opened. And today, um, what we will do together with Director Ricker is um, within the next several weeks, let's let's say at the latest by the end of, of July, again, depending on how long it takes for us to go back with town council and if we need to look at prior um, decisions, et cetera, um, we will get back to you with specifically what the conditions um, that would entail requiring a new permit right. would would be. Um, and then in the in the meantime, um, we would certainly invite you prior to we should we should set a date and I'll look at our December dates um, for for a time for for you to return for the, the next six month check in, but we would certainly be very open to adding an agenda item on any meeting right. prior to that if there is something substantial to discuss okay. as well. Yep. I think we're going to know pretty quickly once um, once we kind of get a, you know, some guardrails on that now. Great. So um, if we look at our December meeting dates, we have a date on the um, 2nd of December um, and one on the 16th of December. Um, I would advocate for the for the earlier date unless you have a conflict um, we, that allows us, if we do need to push that for some reason, we still have 
the second meeting date in December mm -hmm. as a fallback, if that works for you. Unless you, again, I'm fine with the 16th if you tell me today that the second is not going to work for you. Either way is fine. The 16th happens to be my favorite number on my mother's birthday. Well, then uh, it's a lucky day. Should we pick so that date? That's what I was thinking. We can make that work. Okay. But I, in all seriousness, and I'm dead serious about that, but I'll, I'll do second. Or say, I'm still going to be happy about this. Okay. But if, if I understand what you're saying, so if you want to stick with the second, I'm fine. If, if we could, that would be, I would prefer yeah. the second. That just no gives problem. us a little bit of breathing room. And, yep. and again, if we need to, no to move that to the 16th, let's do that. Yep. Any concerns from the board about our next check-in being December 16th? But again, hopefully we'll have um, some opportunity to discuss in the, in the meantime as plans flesh out. The 16th or the second? I'm sorry, the second. Okay. Thank you. December 2nd. Great. Any other comments from the board? Great. Thank you so much for the update. Well, really appreciate done. you coming can, can in. Can we just have a vote that? Uh, uh, sure, we can. We can take a formal second. vote. So, uh, is there a motion from the board to um, request uh, uh, a, a another collaborative meeting together with Jim Doherty on uh, December second to discuss the uh, next steps in uh, the proposed hotel project? So motion. Can I add an amendment Please. or sooner if he has information? Correct. Or 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 to the next earliest date when information is uh, available uh, and uh, ready for discussion. I'll second that. Okay. So amended. Well, I mean, so motion as amended. And I'll second. As amended. Okay. Uh, Steve. Yes. Jean. Yes. Shana. Yes. Ken. Yes. And I have a yes as well. So we will see you on December 2nd, if not before. Sounds good. Great. Right, thank you. Enjoy your sons. Thank you. All right. Um, that closes agenda item number uh, three. Uh, we will now op uh, move to agenda item number four, which is open forum. So anyone joining us this evening who would like to speak, um, if you would do so, uh, excuse me, indicate to do so by uh, raising your hand. Okay, with that, we will close open forum and move to new business. And I will uh, hand it over to uh, Director Ricker. Great, thank you. Um, I, when we were preparing the agenda for tonight, um, it, we missed the, um, the agenda item. There, there should be another agenda item here, and that is to discuss and select a member of the ARB to be on the AMP Up Advisory Committee, the Arlington Master Plan Update um, Advisory Committee. Um, we had a short discussion about it uh, at our meeting, uh, at our last meeting, um, but it was determined, um, it was the sort of the consensus of the folks who were there that we should probably wait until every week we had the full board um, to, to discuss um, which, which one we were looking to, um, to appoint. Um, so it's still, it, it is still the board's decision. I mean, we could, uh, it, it is not an agenda item, so I'm not sure that we can have a full board discussion about it this evening. But I, you know, I think I would like to know. Uh, 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 the, everybody on the board is, is more than welcome to come to the AMP Up uh, Advisory Committee uh, kickoff meeting that we're having on Thursday night. I would just encourage, you know, whoever the member is who thinks that they will be on the uh, permanent member of the committee um, to to attend, so as not to miss anything in the kickoff. Sounds good. I know that we have, I believe our next meeting is next week. It's a week. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, um, you know, perhaps what we could do this evening is identify um, the board member and take a formal vote um, officially next next week, if that works with everyone. Mm -hmm. Okay. Great. So, thoughts. Again, we did not vote on this last week because we did not want to do so without having either of you um, as part of the discussion, um, but wanted to see if there um, was an interest in um, anyone specifically from the board in being the board liaison for the um, AMP UP master plan update committee. Steve. Well, I'm, I'm planning to attend Thursday night's meeting. Okay. <laughs> Steve, um, do you have an interest in, in acting as the, the board liaison? I would be okay with that, yeah. Any other I haven't thoughts? decided yet. You haven't decided yet. I'll decide by next Monday. Okay. So, I mean, two of you, the two, if you are available, I mean, the two of you 
we can have two members attend, but otherwise we need to set an agenda and make that an um, official ARB meeting if more than two members mm -hmm. attend, which we can do. We did that for several of the yes. um, for several of the um, MBTA communities working group meetings. So I guess that is my first question. Um, are there more? I won't be attending. And I'm unfortunately not able to attend because I have a, a business engagement that evening. Uh, I'm also not able to attend. Okay, so it sounds like we'll have two members attending that evening. Um, and we can then um, defer the official, um, the official selection of the ARB member on um, the 17th. And we'll make sure that that's part of the agenda. Fantastic. I think the two candidates are perfectly qualified and have right. my full support. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Great. Fantastic. Thank you. And perhaps uh, at that evening you could decide if that's something that you would like to move forward with. Okay. Great. Uh, any other new business? Yes, I'd like to bring Can up one. If that, you done? Please, yes. Uh, I've been talking to um, Greg Thompson from the, uh, I guess he's the MBTA um, development liaison with, with their parcels of land. And I've been talking to him about uh, air rights, uh, about the uh, MB MBTA turnaround in the uh, heights. In the heights. And, uh, the hard person to get, to get hold of, so I sort of passed it on to Claire, and hopefully you know, she might have better luck. Um, I think we'll, I think the next step was to arrange for a time to go out there and walk it and see yeah. some of the ideas. But before we talk to him, I wanted to talk to the board and say, what do you guys think uh, might go there, and what you know what we should do? I I originally thought, just give you my opinion, only my opinion, okay? It would be air rights above here that we put out uh, a joint RFP to developers uh, with, uh, you know, with, the, uh, with Arlington and MBTA saying, here's some air rights to develop there, and then it will be under uh, you know, with our program requirements. You know, say, you know, maybe uh, a higher percentage of affordable units uh, with a uh, discount in uh, required parking because it's right above. The MBTA, so you know maybe we get down to very low parking there, and see what we can do there. And I think having some ground, uh, having some sort of retail on the ground there, just continuing on that space along, along that Mass Ave might be great. Uh, that shed they have there right now is totally unutilized, and it's actually a blight, I, I believe, uh, in that area there. So I think uh, we could do that. Could be a great something we can do to spawn uh, that whole area. And that was just my idea. I just want to see what other people are thinking about. Great. Thank you, Ken. Steve? Well, it's, uh, I, I read earlier this week that um, the T is looking at some sort of an air rights partnership uh, to redevelop a portion of the seven acres that the LYF T station is sitting on. Yep. Which, that could, that could be a very transformational project. This is smaller. Um, I, I like your, I like your ideas. Um, the one, two things I would bring up is, you know, operationally, um, is there a need for bus storage? You know, they, they need bus houses. Um, and number two, um, could we work with them on, you know, getting a connection between Mass Ave an easement to go from Mass Ave to the uh, bikeway. Currently, I walked the site. I, I've been researching it quite a bit. Oh, okay, okay. Um, it's the hardware store. Arlington Coal and Lumber mm -hmm. has this little sliver of a land that goes right to the point there. But if we can talk to them about some sort of land bridge, it's right next to the bike trail. Mm -hmm. And uh, that, that linkage could happen. Um, I don't see how it comes to a point almost. Yeah. I don't see how that's very useful for them. You know, uh, I'm not sure what they store there, but <laughs> yeah. Because uh, yeah, there, I mean, there are a number of access points in the heights, but 
you know, there's just one public one that's a stairwell, but that, that involves stairs, and the rest of them are all for private property. Yeah, there was one time uh, talk about uh, at Trader Joe's having that uh, a better connection to Mass Ave. Mm -hmm. um, as far as the buses, there are some buses that do park there just so they realign with their time. Mm -hmm. um, so if, if a bus is running early uh, because there's you know not that many uh, pickups or traffic was light, mm -hmm. they wait there to requeue so they're not mm -hmm. uh, perpetually earlier and again earlier and earlier and then now nothing went on schedule. Mm -hmm. I don't think it happens anyways, but uh, but that's that's the only time they sort of queue there. It's not there's no overnight bus parking there. Oh, okay. There's none. Um, it's it's basically a turnaround. Uh, Dead space, and uh, and I I, have to, I haven't quite figured out how far this this foliage on one side of it that gets to it, uh, and uh, I'm not sure where the property line ends over there, but I think it's it's not quite as triangular as, as it looks on the pavement when you walk it. Mm -hmm. Anything else, Steve? Well, it just as to put a, a high level point on it, if there is interest. If the MBTA has in, would like to explore, you know, some sort of an air raid deal, I'm definitely interested in talking with them. <laughs> Great, thank you, Gene. Yeah, I think it's a really nice concept to consider. What do you know the size of the lot? Nope. Do you know what's the zoning right now of the lot? Do you know? There's no zoning. I think it's T. There's no zoning at all. Yeah. Now the T. Well, that was my sort of next question. You know, the T. The T is not subject to local zoning. Um, no. No, it's not. That's what I'm saying. It's not. But I wonder if um, if they were to like, you know, lease out the air rights. If if those air rights would become subject to local zoning, or if None of it would be ever be subject to local zoning um, because I think the worst of all outcomes is that he says that's a great idea. We're going to do whatever we want. So I think it would be really helpful if whatever happens is something that's agreed to by both the T and the town. I don't think the T has that kind of attitude. Uh, I think a, a good. <laughs> Well, maybe I'm naive, okay, uh, Gene, but I thought what they did at, uh, at Quincy was really nice. It had a much, much larger scale, okay? Mm, right. But, so, this, this, but, you know, we're not talking train stations here. We're talking just right. a bus turnaround. Right. Yeah, right. So, you know. I mean, I think it's worth exploring. I think there are a lot of things to think about from, you know, diesel buses underneath something to green space, et cetera, et cetera. I think it's worth exploring, definitely. Shana? I, yeah, I definitely think it's worth exploring. Um, uh, I'm looking at a street view of the buildings around there right now, and um, a lot of it is one story, um, except, for the, except for Sunrise next door. Um, so, so that would, I think, have to be part of the conversation. If you're starting from air rights, it sort of starts at 12 feet, um, but... Uh, it's a little higher than 12 feet, yeah, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, probably, probably, what, I don't know, 15, 18 feet uh, generously. Well, no, it's buses, so even more than that. It, uh, but, but... I think definitely worth exploring. Um, so, um, Claire had made some passing comment months and months ago about now that the governor was in town, the T is answering <laughs> the phone. Um, I wonder if uh, the lieutenant governor actually answers the phone, as I think, as I think you know. Um, uh, she might, if you're having trouble getting a meeting. She might, she might be a good resource. No, I had, um, up until like a week ago, pretty good dialogue. Yeah, that's and great. All of a sudden, um, 
his mobile phone is turned off. It's, it's, <laughs> it's on vacation. It's on vacation. So let's give, let's no, no, give everybody the benefit of It's no longer that. active. Okay. So uh, I don't know, but yes, he could be on vacation, and uh, but I trust Claire. Oh, yes. Right. Yeah. Great. So it sounds like this is something um, worth exploring, and we will continue to update the board as we hopefully continue to make progress. Great. Well, how's the Heights Committee coming in, in this, oh. and how would this tie into that? Because it, it should be, it should be done in conjunction. It shouldn't be off oh, absolutely. Uh, yeah. different yeah. tracks. Yeah. Yeah. This is, I think this is all tied in together. I think, <clears throat> you know, it's not, we've got the economic development coordinator, um, this board, um, you know, Sarah and myself, and there's no shortage of people talking about that, that okay. bus site. I think the hard thing has been to, to figure out who at the MBTA we can work with um, about doing a deal. And I think that the contact that you have that let us know that it's TO, the TOD division who's actually looking at doing these sorts of deals is more information than I've managed to receive you know, from their real estate consultant who is Greystone, who has been a little difficult to work with. No, this guy. Yeah, work this guy works straight for the team. Like, yeah, great show works for him. Yeah, exactly. exactly. So um, through the normal channels, it has been um, pretty difficult, but you know, I appreciate the contact that we just made, and I think you know, looking at the TOD group um, at, at MBTA, we might be able to get a little more traction. I will say that there is a mural plan for this building, um, and we did just receive a license for it. Um, so there will be a, a, a new mural on the building and we hope it will have it look you know, a little less blighted um, than it does right now. Um, I do know that the, well, I don't know this, but I do know that the TOD group at the T has, you know, done a lot of, or been looking at a lot of air rights deals, big ones, but that doesn't mean that they can entertain small ones or that they haven't done any. Um, but I'm more than happy to, you know, uh, take another look at this, write a memo, you know, something like that and let you know where we are. My other suggestion is we also talk to Maria. Oh, yes. Uh, and see what, you know, what we Where can do. Where the lumberyard is, yeah. Well, exactly. Yeah. I, I, okay. I, I don't know. I think some of the lumberyard is over on the MBTH property. Hmm. And a bunch of that. It looks like it. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, and then some of the green stuff that we want is their property. And then, to, to Steve's point, we need their help to get the connection to the bike trail. Right. And it comes to a point. I don't know what they do there. I mean, if we just yeah. can transfer, chomfer that off and get some sort of rights there, or just... Uh, create an easement. Yes. Yeah. So, I'm just looking it up, it's 0.577 acres. So, a little more than half an acre. It's kind of tight. Of land and zoning is T, T for MBTA. No, T for transportation. Transportation. So. I've never seen T in our zoning books. We only have it in one place, I think. This is what's on the property card. It's yeah. a teeny, teeny district. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's even teamier than our business zoning. districts. And again, it's something we'll, we'll take a look at with the full heights rezoning yes, exactly. as well. Yes, yeah. exactly. But, the board's o that. but the board might be okay with, like, say, talking about like zero parking. I know I approached this before. I don't think that the board has said that. Well, no, no. I said, I was saying, would the board be considering we'll be okay with we'll be talking about that? Because, you know, having. I think the board would be okay with talking about parking reductions, is what would be appropriate to say. Okay. Because I know that's the first thing that has come to their mind. How much of a footprint do you need on this land here? And because, uh, you know, setting up, setting up a podium and putting everything above it is not a problem. It's just what comes down uh, and, you know, how their buses turn in that track, you know, is, is the big thing. Um, I mean, the board, the board may, may be fine with that. Again, I, 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 don't, talk this I, right I don't know that I would want to make any commitments. No, at no, no this commitment. Just, time. It, you know. I, I would be completely comfortable exploring the idea of zero parking requirements. I said explore. Yep. <laughs> no, no. That's all, I'm not asking for commitments yet. I'm just, you just want to start getting an understanding of what, you know, mm -hmm. what, what could be the opportunities. 
I'm, I'm still hung up on whether we would need to change the zoning um, if the T is going to lease out the air rights um, or not, because then I think it's whatever the zoning is and what the rules are for that zoning district that would apply. Unless it becomes a PUD or some right, sort of specific. Right, right. unless we did a PUD. Right. That's a, so there are or, ways to like that. address it for sure. Yeah. Right. Sheena? I would be open to the conversation for sure. Great. So it sounds like the board is open to the conversation regarding significant parking reduction and um, reviewing the current zoning. Anything else? You know, that's on this I, topic? No, that's all I had. Okay. Uh, Shana, any new business? No new business. Jean? No new business. Steve? Um, sorry, but nothing tonight. No problem. And um, I believe uh, I forwarded the uh, invitation to the planning for the 250th uh, anniversary um, events that all of the, the boards and committees in, in town were invited to. So uh, hopefully you all have that in your inbox. And that's all when I have happened? today. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> the meeting is this week, but I forwarded it today. All right, I checked yesterday. Okay. Uh, like, Great, anything else? With that, is there a motion to adjourn? So motion. Second. We'll take a vote, starting with Steve. Yes. Jean. Yes. Shana. Yes. Ken. Yes. And I am a yes as well. This meeting is adjourned. ACMI productions are only made possible with your support. Visit patreon.com slash ACMI to learn how you can help.